you're trying to negotiate with me in front of people, then I'll have to negotiate with them. You know how bad business that is? Everybody wants know, some right? food that's been expired for five years? <laughs> what in the world?
Let me help this man here. He's really in pain. I know. Okay? He's just trying to cut in front of me. He's hollering on you up there and stuff. What's up? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. You mean you're trying to negotiate with me in front of people, then I'll have to negotiate with them? You know how bad business that is? Potential. Give me a minute. You can do it for it all. That's right. What are you looking at? That right there? Is there 10 on it right now? I said I'll, I'll tin on it so it's 50% off this possible. When I had posters, I didn't see prices on these. They were in the basement. Okay. I think this is one, but I think there's multiple in this one. I think there's two. Yeah, two. So there's three posters total. So luggage 20 and 15. And then three posters. Did he drop him again? Uh, $20. There you go. There you go. Thank you much. Have a good one. You too. Good luck with the sale. Back in the shop, found a handful of things. I got a duffel bag, a backpack, and some posters that I will show you in just a minute here. This backpack is really clean, actually. If I had to guess... I bet they didn't use this more than once or twice. This thing is really, really clean. It is, let's see here, Eureka Intrepid 2. Now that I'm looking closely at this, it kind of looks like the vacuum Eureka brand, doesn't it? I don't know, does the other one have an exclamation point? I did find the brand, and I found the backpack on eBay, and they were selling for like 50 bucks, nothing too crazy. Um, these things can be a pain to pack. I'm not going to lie. It takes a special box. Uh, but for $7.50, you know, everything was half off. I had to get that. This right here caught my eye because when I first saw it, I thought that was the BMW logo. And then upon further inspection, I come over here. This is going to be hard for you guys to see. Let me get it. Oh, my God. I just broke it. Are you serious? Uh, all right. Well, now it's got a broken zipper, but you can see BMW Empower. Well, that sucks. So, yeah, the value of this just went down. I paid 10 for this because it was half off day. Um, again, condition's nice. Bottom's good. Uh, definitely BMW. Definitely rare. I only saw like one active listing. I think they were asking like $200 or something silly like that. Couldn't find any solds. Um, before this thing being broken off, I would have hoped to have gotten 75 to 100 bucks. So maybe 50. I don't know. Uh, pretty cool. But yeah, I always like to look at duffel bags because you can never, you never know what you're going to find. And I'm going to show you guys a quick tip on um, how to photograph duffel bags because think about it you know you lay it down it just looks deflated and it doesn't pop so i'm going to show you guys when you are photographing these how to make them look good all right fair warning if you were triggered by the crinkle noises of ikea bags turn your volume down or something but yeah this is going to be loud what you want to do is take ikea bags or something you know of similar substance and stuff it down into the bag until it actually makes a pop out so I'm gonna shove some in here and show you guys what it looks like. All right, now I've got our duffel bag filled with Ikea bags. It took me maybe 20 seconds, and guess what? I didn't break any more zippers in the process, so hooray for that. Um, I guess I probably could have shoved a few more down here just to make this bottom pop out. But yeah, just something simple like that, you know? Go the extra mile. Most people are just gonna lay this flat and take a lazy picture, so make your picture stand out. All right, last things I got were these Highlander posters. This is the Quickenings. If I had to guess, I would say this was the TV show, not the movie. I really don't know much about Highlander. This is 1999. I'm sorry, 1998. Whoever lived there was a big fan of Highlander. Saw like Highlander VHS, um, all kinds of Highlander stuff. Give me a second and I will unroll this other one. All right, so this is a fencing guy, but it is also Highlander. And I think this is also the TV show. I don't know. This is 99. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know that there's a lot of value in these. Like, I was kind of looking up Highlander posters. I couldn't find the same ones. Probably a very small market <laughs> for these of, like, the Highlander fans that, you know, want to put posters up. Uh, but they were cheap. You know, I think I paid $2.50 for all three. And I really like buying posters because there is a good market for them. There aren't that many on eBay because most of the time people don't want to mess with them because they're kind of a pain in the butt. You know, you got to unroll them and flatten them out just to get a picture and you gotta buy poster tubes to ship them so it's one of those things where 
if you're willing to do a little bit, a little bit of extra work, you know, find posters that actually sell, keep an eye out. Vintage sports posters, you can make some serious money buying and selling vintage sports posters. So yeah, that's the last thing I found. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.